So when doing your TCP correction, you want to verify that you've done your torch alignment first before starting the correction. Next, you will need to create a program with any available program number. You can name this program TCP Correction. So now that you have your program created, drive the robot over to a fixed point on your table. I have a zip tie now for demonstration purposes and you can use this in the field as well. Record that point as a line move. Now, with your robot coordinate system and using the operating keys RX, RY, and RZ, you will rotate your torch to a different position and fix it to that point and record another line move. You will continue this 12 to 15 steps and then have an end statement at the end of your program. After completing your program for the TCP correction, on the Teach Pendant, hold down the Enable button and press Constant Settings. Scroll down to Machine Constants and hit Enter. Hit Enter on Tool Constants. Here you'll see an Easy Setting button on the top corner of your screen. Press it. Hold down the Enable button here and press the right arrow key to access the axis constants and length and scroll down to your program number and type in the program number that you created for your TCP correction. From here hit execute at the lower corner of your screen. Hit yes to the length at display value is ok. Then hit complete in the bottom corner of your screen. If it asks you to turn your motor power off, hit the e-stop button on your teach pendant. Then scroll to the left and hit OK. When it asks to shift your programs, scroll to the right and hit no. Now you can R back out to the main menu and your TCP correction has been completed.